Raven. And I'm Ahmad, and we're the Hoods. Welcome to Hood Tales, where we take you through the ups, downs, and merry-go-rounds of millennial marriage. <laughs> Not this, uh. That made me think of, uh. Uh. Late in the midnight hour. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. Turn it around. Turn it around. That's what I thought of. Um, anyway, outside of that. <laughs> Today, we're tackling one of the top three reasons that couples divorce finances. Moolah. And who's splitting rent? Jeez. Feta. Okay. Um, <laughs> um, so to start, we want to talk about what's your money story. Um, this is a um, phrasing um, that we got from My, uh, My Fab Finance. That's her little app. Um, who is one of the financial and budgeting um, gurus of our time, really. Um, so it's essentially going through your money story is how you grew up with money, um, and if, if you didn't grow up with money, that is also part of your money story, um, and how that has now impacted the way that you view money um, and your relationship to money now. Do you want to start? Um, sure. So, um, growing up, a lot of people say uh, money ain't everything, but if you grew up how I grew up, you know, um, we wasn't poor, but we was for sure broke. Um, money might not have been everything but it was for sure right up under uh you know my good lord and savior jesus it was right, <laughs> right, up, right up under there okay um and money wasn't used how uh we look at money now as a tool money was just uh a survival tactic for us you know growing up and how so, do you view money now mo yeah money now is i know that it can be used for uh setting up my future or setting up something for my wife or you know uh you no longer view it as a fleeting resource exactly mm -hmm. thank you yeah you're welcome um so i grew up <laughs> i grew up um not dirt poor either um we definitely struggled with money uh but we never went without uh so my um relationship with money now uh, I think I have a really good relationship with money. Um, I am a, mm, I can't say I'm a hoarder. No, I'm a no. hoarder of my own money. I'll spend yours fast. I'm too sure. I'm a hoarder of uh, my. Nah. A little bit. I've gotten a lot better. Go in there and look at them shoes in it. Okay, that's not that's not being a hoarder of my money because I can still hoard my money and spend my money on things that I like and want. To hoard it does not mean that I need to go without. Too sure. See, money story, okay? <laughs> so, <laughs> um, that is my money story now. Um, <laughs> um, and also, that really leads into my next point here, the my money versus our money discussion. Um, as I just said, how I said I would hold my money and spend his fast, yes. But also, I believe that Amaz's money is my money. Hmm? How about that, okay? So, <laughs> Uh, he not laughing because he know I'm not playing. Um, <laughs> ah, ah, how do you feel? Do you believe that your money is my money? Yes. And I, I didn't for a long time until COVID hit and you were forced to be unemployed. Mm -hmm. Because I never, my money never had to be our money. Mm -hmm. So there was a, a mental shift there to begin with. So I never had the mindset that my money needed to be our money because my Ahmad got me mindset is strong. I mean, it, very strong. Because it I is, got you. Yes, it is very strong. And if I ain't got you, I'm gonna rob Peter to pay Paul so I can get you. Which is exactly why my shoes and my closet look the way that they do. Touché. Because Ahmad got me. Um, however, <laughs> however, um, that shifted my mindset, which it it's not like it was never there to begin with. Right. I just never had to be in the forefront to say, mm -hmm. this is our money. Mm -hmm. um, but I feel like I do good okay. with saving and everything. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Okay, now. For our money. Because I'm back employed, do you feel like it's still our money or is it now his money, my money? No, I think it's still our money because it's still money that comes into the house. I get that, but also, you know, like, 
because of COVID, you know, your your mindset could have shifted back. You know, you know. I mean, it's still money that comes into the house. Okay. Because, I mean, if everything hit the fan, you know, you somebody gotta, got money coming to the house. Yeah. Exactly. Like, you know, that just is what it is. Um, but after discovering your money story and how that impacts you, I think the next biggest thing would be budgeting, uh, which we do and don't do. Right. <laughs> Effectively. Um, however, the budget nista at the budget nista is the bomb.com. I do have all of her budget worksheets She's and so things and books. She's on Audible if you are into that as well. Um, I just don't effectively budget, but we will once we start getting ready to um, pay off the rest of our debt and save for our home because right. then a budget will legitimately matter to us. Exactly. Um, and it doesn't at the moment. Right. We just save. As much as we possibly can. Really. Correct. Correct. Um, so, how do you feel about financial gender roles? Um, like what? What are they to you? Or what did you grow up with financial gender roles being? Essentially, the same thing. Like my dad took care of everything, and my mom kept her money. Mm. It wasn't really a my money our money i mean it wasn't really like a our money type mm -hmm. of thing it was my money your money type of thing um you know now you know that they're older and grown and whatnot they it's better now well, but when i was growing kids. exactly yeah. amen um but when, <laughs> when i was growing up that was the thing that's what i saw okay but i also saw my mother provide you know and my dad did the same thing too, right but you know hey. um for me since my parents were divorced um and my mother had a mm -hmm. uh, child. Uh, it wasn't no gender roles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there were no gender roles. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, so there's that. But I think that for me, I don't think I've ever believed in financial gender roles. No, I'm lying. Um, I definitely have because my mindset has always been, I'm going to have my own, but I'm also going to be very well taken care of. And I do use the words taken care of because that's what I mean. Um, because I am Rochelle from Everybody Hates Chris. I don't need this, okay? My man has two jobs. He has a job of being a barber and a job of being my husband. And I don't need nothing in nowhere. Three. What is the job number three? Because I do products. Oh yeah, you do have products too. Correct, okay? <laughs> but like still, I'm like, sir, what is your other job? I don't know nothing about that. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> um, so I guess I have, but also I haven't because one thing about me, I'm a, I'm a keep a job. Thanks. Okay. Appreciate I'm a, I'm a keep a job. Okay. Um, so. Yeah. Don't know. That's happen. just the, hello. Money gonna come. Money gonna come. I have no problem getting me a job Listen, and I don't have to any help job. myself or oh, us. Come on. So it does. You really have, but uh, <laughs> that's that's all that there is to it. Um, so every week on Twitter, if you're on Twitter, there seems to be a conversation about splitting bills 50-50. and <sighs> not me. <laughs> uh, we do not split bills at all. Uh, Ahmad pays for everything. Um, bill wise, um, I do pay my own credit card bills. That's my own, you know, I'm spending it. I need to be paying it off. Um, and uh, because I'm still on my mama family plan, amen. I, <laughs> I pay my phone bill um, and I do take care of all of the groceries and like household needs and stuff out of my own income. Um, but as far as rent, electricity, these lights, you know, this this Wi-Fi, this Wi-Fi, I don't pay none of that. Cause my man said he was gonna do it, and so I let him. True. Now, however, comma, I do believe that splitting bills is realistic if that is what works for you. Okay. Um, I know plenty of people that split everything 50-50 down the middle. Straight down it. Um. But I think that part of the problem is people feel like that that people that feel like they want to be taken care of, right? Specifically women, 
um, mostly is what I see this battle with on the internet. Men feel like that is a problem. For whatever reason, probably just, you know, misogynistic, men are trash. So, the, ba <laughs> the basis of it is, men feel like, you know, if you're working, you should be paying 50-50. And that's great, if that's what works for you. True. Okay? Truly, if that's what works for you. Um, and I tell people all the time that, like, I am spoiled. And I know that I am. Uh, part of that is you started me off that way, and child, we got to keep it. Because now I'm used to it. And that's also essentially what I required. I ain't going to hold you. Um, I, for me personally, I didn't really care what you required. That's what I was giving. I know that. When I, because I, I saw my mother work and like, she paid bills. You know, it wasn't, uh, my dad definitely took care of things, but she also did as well. So like, it wasn't, uh, you know, the man got her or right. whatever, you know, all the time. But for me, I wanted more stability in my life and I wanted more stability for my wife. And I always said that growing up, that that's what I wanted. So that's what I have. Too and, much. and that's it, it just is what it is. Um, that's not it's not for everybody. I wonder if that's where it came from. But it's it's a patriarchal thing. Men like to flex all the time and be like, I'm getting money and this, that, and the third. And what you what do you think when a woman go what you what do you think they're gonna uh, want from you or require of you in a relationship? Of course they gonna uh take care of me. Cause clearly you got the money if you flex it. I mean, and that's a true flex for me. I'm not no, I'm not no any kind of way flexer or out here with the Gucci belts and the <laughs> shoes and whatnot. But my wife gonna be taken care of. End of the day. These are facts. So if that worked for you, do that. If splitting bills work for you, do that. It's for the benediction. All Amen. we're trying to say is, no matter how you decide to split financial decisions, make sure your bills is paid. So you ain't living up under nobody's overpass. In a box. Okay. Or a tent. Split them whichever way you need to split them. 50, 50, it really don't matter. 60, 40. It, it really matter. doesn't matter. 30, 70. It don't matter. Just make sure your bills is paid. Amen. Do you have a hood highlight for today's episode? Make the money, don't let it make you. Yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you are so annoying. <laughs> I felt that player's club in my uh, soul, so I had to say it. My hood highlight would have to be, this is one of those things, like every other thing that I believe with in any relationship, that you have to do what works for you. Like, splitting bills at this stage in our marriage is not something that we're deciding to do. Right. Could that change? Yes. Yes. Like, and life never stops happening. Like, we could wake up tomorrow and god forbid i might be like unable to work again or unable to work for six months or unable to work for a year i go to work for a reason so literally just do what works for you this is one of the things where like you and your partner have to put your blinders on and do what you got to do okay once again thanks for watching this uh -huh. is episode four, four. um <laughs> uh don't forget to share, like, comment, subscribe, comment. New order. Let us know. Do y'all split bills? Do you believe in splitting bills? Huh? How does that work for you? Are you a real man if you hey. split bills? Yeah. Why not? No, I'm, I'm why saying. Why would that? I want to I know. Oh. Okay. All right. Bye. See you. I'm Raven. And I'm Ahmad. And we're the Hoods. Welcome to Hood Tales, where we take you through the ups, downs, and merry-go-rounds of a... Um, Hey, them bloopers gonna be fire. Hilarious. I'm saving all of them too. <laughs>